Good morning students. I hope you all are fine at your place and taking all suitable precautions that are needed to fight against corona virus. Whatever hurdles come in life, we need to move ahead. So with this note, I'm going to start off my new chapter that is chapter number 5, measurement and motion. We all know that measurement plays a very important role in our daily life since morning till evening we are into the process of measuring small small things like the milkman coming in the morning and giving milk to you he measures it properly and then he gives it to your mother or you are going to the grocery shop and buying small small items for your kitchen you properly measure them and then you are giving the money and you are bringing it back to home but just imagine if you are doing these things by just guessing will you get the proper things which are needed for your kitchen or for your home like one more example i want to give you go to a cloth shop and you want to get a cloth for your dress but if the person doesn't measures it properly and gives the cloth to you will that cloth will be suitable for making your dress no so some way measurement plays a very important in our day to day activities so all items like vegetables fruit milk cloth material or any item of your home which can be easily measured are known as physical quantities the things which can be easily measurable or easily measured they are known as physical quantities now the question comes what is measurement suppose i give you an object and ask to measure it like i am giving this rod to you and ask you to measure it without the help of any of the instruments which are needed for the measurement like your inch tape as we all know a scale that i'm taking or you don't have any of these things then how can you do the measurement of this rod the simple and easy method of measuring this rod is that you start moving your hand in this manner on this rod and come to the end of the rod so whatever reading comes is known to be the length of that rod or we can call this method as a measurement known as hand span method like it got with 5 so i have a 5 hand span is the reading of this rod but this measurement is not that accurate reason behind is that the height of the hand may vary but this can be done when you don't have appropriate instruments with you now i want to show you something more just imagine i have talked about this rod and if i show you that rod is having quantity 4 it's a physical quantity that is four that means that i am having four rods with me this is what it means if i am talking about a sugar bag it is means it is five i am having five sugar bags with me or if i am talking about a water bottle it means that i am having a quantity which is about one water bottle i am containing or a piece of cloth that means i am having a piece of cloth this is what is called as the physical items that i am having but if i compare it with one another thing or a physical fixed physical quantity that is called as unit then it gives it a meaningful thing like rod which is about 4 hand span long as we have already done this or if i talk about a sugar bag which is 5 and the unit given is kg so it shows that i am having a sugar bag which is having a weight of 5 kg i can show you this. 
I'm having a sugar bath which is about 5 kg in weight. Another one is a water bottle showing that it contains 1 liter of water in it. And the last one is a cloth piece that is about 1 meter long. So it shows that that measurement is a comparison between an unknown physical quantity with a known fixed quantity which we call it as a unit. And then only a measurement can be perfect or we can say what we are talking about the measurement makes it very clear for the person that what we are talking about. So to make these measurement accepted all over the world a standard international units were set for all the three basic physical quantities like length, mass and time. So for all over the world an international system of unit was accepted or what we called as the SI unit was done and for the SI unit for length was accepted as meter for SI unit for mass it was accepted as kilogram and SI unit for time it was accepted second so throughout the world this was accepted and accordingly the measurements were done I hope you have understood what I have tried to teach you in this topic and what so with this I take your leave stay safe and be happy thank you